it's been my privilege to um, to take care of patients who, who have such challenging and severe uh, eye conditions. And I've just been so impressed with the generosity and the talent uh, that, that people have here at Southern College of Optometry and with the eye specialty group. We've got six surgeons and many nurses and anesthesia personnel and uh, optometrists and uh, students who are willing uh, to participate in this effort uh, just to share their love for the community and be able to donate their craft to help others. When I was in my third year of medical school, uh, I was actually applying for residency, interestingly, in ophthalmology. I was doing uh, research and I was found to have a retinal detachment. And I didn't come from money. I didn't come from means. And so it was very frightening. I got an opinion at uh, Duke University, and I was going to medical school at UNC School of Medicine, Chapel Hill. Long story short, uh, a wonderful surgeon who trained at Johns Hopkins repaired my retinal detachment, no charge. And uh, the expense to undergo surgery when you're just starting out and you have huge debts, I'll never forget that. We all need each other. And I don't like looking at it as charity or whatever, but we all have our gifts. And it's heartbreaking when some people need eye services and resources so much, but they can't afford it, or they don't have the resources, or their pride and their, their dignity feels challenged because somebody is offering them to help. Um, I never want to be one who's not going to be willing to help. And I'm very proud to be associated with the eye specialty group and all the genera uh, generous uh, surgeons and doctors in the Southern College of Optometry, students and doctors who want to participate in this exciting event where we want to show our love for the Memphis community and what we can do to help them. And so I'm proud to be here to tell you about uh, this event of uh, I Love my community day and I hope that we can find people who can take advantage of our services because we're so appreciative to be a part of this effort. This originated I think partially uh, from a patient that I had uh, specifically. I had a patient from uh, Mongolia and in Mongolia she was an anesthesiologist so she was a doctor in Mongolia uh, and apparently their infrastructure over there for healthcare is limited at best and so she came to uh, to Memphis, uh, the Memphis area, to visit her son. And the old Bon Jovi term, living on a prayer, she was hoping that she could get something done because her vision was so limited. In one eye, uh, she had probably the largest uh, retinal scar that I've seen in my career to date. Uh, and in the other eye, she had a, a mild form of macular degeneration that needed treatment and had a, a pretty dense cataract. And funny enough that uh, one of the guys also on this video, Dr. Woodleaf, uh, I reached out to him immediately knowing his heartbeat for patient care and his and his great surgical skills uh, I reached out to him and said I have this patient who is completely unable to uh, afford her care she's here living on a prayer so to speak and uh, he jumped at the chance to help her out and by the end of it she went from I think it was around 2400 or worse and in, in her good eye to 2050 uh, uh, after surgery and it was just amazing she no longer needed a cane she uh, could read again it had completely given her independence back uh, so I thought that was uh, amazing Amazing, and that kind of, uh, I think, was a spark that kind of sent this program down this road that we're going now. And we're excited to see where it goes. We hope it explodes in a good way uh, to help even more people like that. Uh, so I don't personally do the surgery, uh, but I do a lot of the pre-op care, and, and we do a ton of uh, post-op care around here after surgery. And it is amazing. We'll see the one-day post-ops, and I literally had a guy yesterday who was hand motion, uh, just could barely see his hand moving in front of his face uh, the day before surgery, and less than 24 hours later he was seeing 2025 which is one line less than what we define as perfect essentially less than 24 hours later it is absolutely amazing that that surgery can be done in today's world uh, and uh, the the benefits and the outcomes from that are completely life-changing for the patients and uh, uplifting for for people like me who love to see people get back on their feet uh, I decided to become an eye doctor in second grade I realized that I could no longer read the board and just that barrier of not being able to see hindering 
furthering my knowledge, I had no clue how much it was holding me back. When I received my first pair of glasses and got the gift of sight, a whole new world was opened up to me. So bringing this gift of sight to other people was very exciting, knowing how many doors it can open for them.